Hello, we're the History Hikers. We are standing in front of the Chateau de Fer en Tardenois. Um, it's uh, looking impressive from here with its many towers. Uh, it's built when? In the beginning of the 13th century, but nothing of that, almost nothing of that original structure remains. Yeah, one of the most impressive things is the bridge leading to it because of the remodeling in uh, the Renaissance times. They built a very impressive bridge leading to it. Let's go check it out. The castle of Fer en Tardenois is located north of the town with the same name. It's located in the Anne department in the Haute de France region. We can deduce from the town's name that it is located in the Tardenois region, which used to be an old county created during the time of Charlemagne. Its history starts in the 10th century, when the historian Floroar mentions a stronghold at Fer en Tardenois. The estate passed to the archbishops of Reims and was acquired at the end of the 12th century by Robert de Dreux, brother of Queen Louis VII. His son, Robert II, Count of Dreux and Brain, began the construction of the castle at the start of the 13th century. The construction lasted until 1260. The castle eventually passed into the hands of none other than Louis of Orléans, who also owned the castles of Coucy, Pierrefonds and La Ferté Milon, which we all visited previously. Check out the links in the description to find out more. Reunited with the crown in 1407, the domain of Fer was given in 1527 by François I as a wedding present to Anne de Montmorency. In 1535 until 1539, a renovation campaign of the castle was undertaken to transform the feudal fortress into a sumptuous Renaissance palace. The towers were transformed into pleasure rooms, the arrow slits were walled up and larger windows were added. The entrance was redressed in the Renaissance style between two columns decorated with small eagles of the Montmorencys. Finally, between 1555 and 1560, probably under the direction of the architect Jean Bulan, the old fortress was linked to the entrance courtyard by a single two-story gallery bridge with five arches spanning the moat. The first floor of this impressive bridge, which has now disappeared, was actually designed as a ballroom.
castle, which has no donjon, is a heptagonal enclosure flanked by cylindrical towers. It is built on an impressive sandstone man-made mount, or mot, with cobblestones on its sides and surrounded by a dry moat. The towers have their bases made up of an interesting pattern, which seems to form the teeth of a gear. There is no known other example of such an interesting tower base design. The Montmorencys remained masters of the place until the death of Henri II de Montmorency in 1632, who was beheaded on the orders of Louis XIII, or more precisely on the orders of Richelieu, for his role in an uprising against Richelieu. Fer en Tardenois was granted to Henri II de Bourbon, Prince of Condé. The palace reverted back to a branch of the Orléans family through the marriage of Louis Henriette de Bourbon and Louis Philippe d'Orléans. Their son, also named Louis Philippe, auctioned off the ruined castle after 1789. It was then methodically dismantled, but the gallery bridge partially escaped the massacre. The cracks in the towers are thought to have been caused by German explosive tests in 1914-1918. Listed as a historical monument since 1843, the castle has benefited from several restoration campaigns. That was the castle of Fer en Tardenois. Um, impressive. Uh, sadly, we couldn't access all parts because of safety, of course. Um, but yeah. Nonetheless, very impressive. Indeed. It's time for the subjective, arbitrary castle score. Hey! <laughs> and I'm gonna go for. Mm, yesterday I gave six. I'll say another six because of lack of information, lack of access. But yeah, that's safety. What do you think? I'm also going to do the same thing as yesterday and give it a 7. Because? I don't know, I was just amazed by it. It was pretty neat. I think it deserves a 7. I have got no explanation for that, but that's okay because it's completely subjective and arbitrary. Yeah, i got to say the some of the details is, is fancy around the tower bases. Uh, inside there are some details that really shine. Makes you realize some castles were more about defense uh, and rather something pretty to look at. We are talking about the Renaissance, of course. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're the history hikers standing in front of the Chateau de Fer en Tardenois. Thank you for watching. Give us the stuff. A like, comment, subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and all that other good YouTube stuff. Goodbye. Bye.